They enter this match after beating Aston Villa 4-0 and they haven't lost a match in the last four played. So I'm not exactly sure why Everton are priced 2.55 at Coral uh, to beat struggling Bournemouth. And Nigel, can you shed some light on this? I have absolutely no idea myself, Natty. I think they were fantastic, but I had them down around about even money for winning this game. Yeah. The 2.55 is a great bet. They're scoring goals. Lukaku looks hungry, looks an absolute superstar. Ross Barkley, one of the most improved players in the Premier League, and he's going to be the engine for England in the Euro 2016 this summer. A real big season, I expect, from him as well. They're looking hungry. They're looking good. They're looking good things at 2.55. Bournemouth at home. Very inconsistent, aren't they? They score a few goals. They concede a lot of goals as well. Manager Eddie Howe's under a huge, huge bit of pressure to keep them in the division. Uh, I don't think they're good enough to stay in the Premier League. I think they lack a goal scorer. But against a team like, Ever team like Everton, it will go there fearless. I think Everton win is convincingly. All right. Well, I'm glad you said that. I am taking that bet. Everton to win 2.55. Coral cannot argue with that. Um, that, for me, is the best bet for the match. Um, I am also considering, though, the under uh, 2.5 goals. That comes in at 2 bet 3.65. Everton have only scored eight on the road and conceded five, whilst Bournemouth have scored five and conceded nine. To me, that all adds up to the under 2.5 goals. What do you think? Well, this is where we differ. This uh -huh. is where we, we fall out, Natalie. We've had a great <laughs> little know. chat for the last couple of shows. Everything's gone. We've got hunky dory. We've been both agreeing our things. This is where we fall out, you know. There's goals in this side. Everton just know how to play the attack, attack. Lukaku looks fantastic value for the, being a top goal scorer in the Premier League. For me, Harry goes on about Harry Kane and Jamie Vardy, but Lukaku goes underneath the radar. Barkley scoring goals. They've got goals all over that pitch. Bournemouth so leaky, so leaky. Both teams to score back has made fortunes on back in uh, Bournemouth last season, and they're doing the same in the Premier League. Uh, two two in the weekend against Swansea. Another team on the back of a four nil win. I fancy goals here. This is just two sides who are tailor made for each other to have a go, and I fancy goals. I'm going to go for over two and a half goals, but I do think Everton will win. I might bet will be over two and a half goals and Everton to win this game. Yeah, all right. So you have uh, it's interesting. I'm not I'm not sure just because Everton have only conceded five goals, whilst Bournemouth have only obviously scored five, not even a goal a game. Could be the game that all changes. Good luck with your bet. I'm just sticking with the Everton bet, personally. You won't take the Everton. You're going to take the Everton and the over. I'm going to go. Listen, I've never been one to beat about the bush. I'm going to go all in to have a big winner. I don't want to sit on the fence. I don't want a 2.55. I want to go for the big one. I'm going to go over two and a half goals and Everton to win. All right. All right. Well, best of luck with your bet there, Nigel. I do hope it comes through. If not, I will bring it up next week.